All right, so week four, uh, we do have two te- two ranked teams on a bye this week. Uh, Cincinnati and Old Miss are uh, the only two ranked teams that are going to be on a bye this week. So every other ranked team is in action this week. Um, I want to start it off. That would be Cincinnati, Old Miss. Oh my God, that'd be so much fun. That's such a. Um, that'd be that's, so much fun. That, that is a fascinating matchup. We're going off on a tangent, but. Ole Miss doesn't know how to play defense is one of the best offenses in the country. Cincinnati, one of the best defenses in the country. Really good defenses. And an and, average and, offense. And, and, okay, yeah, an average offense. Yeah. Oh, that would be an. Oh, that would be, that'd an, be such a good matchup. That would. All right. Okay. Sorry, we're not. We're not you know. Game of the weekend. I have two like big time. The two ranked matchups are going to be are both going to be really good games. Uh, Notre Dame is playing Wisconsin at Soldier Field in Chicago. That's the big noon game on Fox. Um, I think it's, it's a there's a there's a couple storylines in this. Obviously, Notre Dame's starting quarterback is former Wisconsin quarterback Jack Cohn. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty boring game if we're going to be completely honest, but it's still uh, a, a big time matchup. The other one is Texas A&M playing Arkansas um, in Jerry World in Arlington, Texas. That's uh, that's the CBS, the SEC on CBS game. Um, so those are definitely two games so, that I'm going to be watching. So the thing that I really have to say about these two matchups is I am really upset that they're both at neutral site games. I hate regular season neutral site games um I, like i i really don't even like the like first the chick-fil-a kickoff like in atlanta like i think those are dumb because they, they're they planned years in advance and like you get games like Ole Miss, louisville where both teams are kind of like Lu- Ole Miss was good and louisville's bad so yeah. it's like oh great um and then this one it's like yeah both of these are good but like that's kind of by chance um, the, the, both of these are good matchups, but it's truthfully by chance. Um, and like the fan bases both have to travel. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't like, at least for both of them, it is in the middle. Like yeah. I will say like both of them, it, they are in the middle. Um, but I just don't love, I don't love that. I'm okay. campus games are just so much more exciting. I agree. I, I'm okay with it for a non-conference matchup, like a, like Notre Dame Wisconsin. I, I'm okay with a neutral site game for that. But if it's if it's a conference game like the Texas A and M Arkansas, I just don't. I would rather have that game on campuses. And I feel like they play in Jerry World like every year. I, like yeah. when they play, they play at Jerry World. I don't and understand. And it's like, why, are you trying? Are you trying to be the world's biggest cocktail party? Because like that game, okay, yeah, that game is needs to be played in Jacksonville. Yeah, because you couldn't handle it at either of those those stadiums. Yeah, but like, are, is that what you're trying to do, Texas A&M and Arkansas? Because like, it's gonna take a long time of both being very relevant and very good to like build yeah. up the prestige of the Florida Georgia game. Yeah, I, I agree. I enjoyed I, seeing I, the I punch agree back. wholeheartedly. Uh, I, I had a different angle. You saw right in the hole. <laughs> I saw into the eye of the hurricane. <laughs> um, so, all right, let's look at, ooh, another interesting, I mean, absolutely stupid matchup, but an in-state rivalry is Penn State-Villanova. Yeah. Um. Hey, I've that's, said it that's before. Kind of funny. I do very much enjoy when the the big state school plays the the good because Villanova is a pretty good FCS team. Yeah, they that's solid. they they I play also, a good sorry. FCS team that's local. I like that. What uh, conference is Villanova in? I gotta check this. Oh, I are they in the Pioneer League? Uh, they might be. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. I'm uh, looking it up. Y- you talk about something else. Oh, you're looking up. I'll talk about something else while you're looking it up. It's, Stop. It's Colonial. I, I was going to say Colonial, but I wasn't sure. It's the Colonial Athletic okay. Association. Because uh, the Pioneer doesn't allow scholarships. So I was, you know, like, Villanova's good without scholarships. Yeah. Um, but no, that's not true. Um, I'm looking at other interesting matchups. Ooh. Uh, Central Connecticut plays at Miami. So we could see another upset there. That'd be um, – they'd fire Manny Diaz at halftime if they were losing like 20 – Yes. They're losing like 21 – 100%. They're losing like 21-15 at halftime. They just fire Manny Diaz at half. 
Yeah, yeah. I do I, have the Thursday game this week is going to be thrilling. It's Marshall playing at Appalachian yes. State. That is going to be a that, really that good game. That should be a very good game. That's Thursday night. Hey, Pug. She just keeps howling. She she misses her mom. Hey, come here. Come back. She, you can she come just back. agrees. She also thinks Marshall and Appalachian State is going to be a great game. Yeah, she's an App State fan. App State, I see it. Yeah, she was she was with the Amish, and so like that's similar to Mountaineers. Yeah. Um. She doesn't like f- thundering herds. They both have um, beards. Of buffalo. That, Amish weird. and Mountaineers. Uh, uh, Boise State. Boise State versus Utah State. Yeah. That's, Whoa. That's funny. Jinx. <laughs> that's funny. Um. That's that's gonna be a really good game. I the weird I mean, thing. Boise State is one and two. Like, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. It's, no, no, it's no, a, go ahead. It's I, a 10 a.m. local game. It's a it's a noon Eastern game, but it's gonna be played at 10 a.m. local time. I don't understand. They get they get the chance that. to play on Big CBS. The game will be on Big CBS, but uh, I just don't understand. I, I hate that. why they're playing at 10 a.m. local time. You're just. You're putting the fans. The fans aren't going to be a freaking wake yet, and, and I don't know. The teams aren't normally uh, that, that's so out of the norm compared to what the time they usually play at. Yeah. That it's such a big adjustment. I don't like that for the fans of those teams. Yeah. Um, I think that that's I, I like. I get you want to get the exposure of the East Coast, but like that's uh, it's not worth it for the actual fans that are paying tickets to go to the game. Like. Yeah. Just not worth it for me. Um, we get a rematch of the game that started the downfall of Ed Orsharon, uh, LSU versus Mississippi State. Okay. The, the, well, oh, yeah, last the, year, the first game uh, last year, they came out of the gate, and everybody got like 700 yards. And I thought Mike Leach uh, was actually going to be a good coach at, at Mississippi a good State. A good SEC coach, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you and me both. Yeah. Um, I have one more game. Chelsea. Oh, no, two more games. Sure. Uh, I think the okay. Clemson, Clemson NC State game I think is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, I it's think at, that's going to be a good game at NC State. I think Clemson's on upset alert. I mean, NC State is far superior to Georgia Tech, and if Georgia Tech gave Clemson the game that they did, I think NC State could could yep. easily win that game. And then the last one I had was yep. UTSA, the Texas San Antonio Roadrunners at Memphis. I think that's going to be a thrilling they also game. Also had that game. I think that's going to be a really fun game. Um, I have one game that I think if you're a fan of bad football, like I am, I love bad football. Like Maction is the best thing ever for me. Is it Purdue um, Illinois? No, actually, I think that that's – I think both those teams are actually okay. okay. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. I wouldn't even put either of those teams in the bad football category. I appreciate that. Um, we have a bottom 25 matchup this week. What is it? Actually, it's uh, Duke versus Kansas. Duke, Kansas. That's that's going to be a hell of a game. What an awful game. And it's at 4 p.m. garbage time on the ACC network. <laughs> so, like, you know nobody's watching that game. I can't watch Fucking that game. Fucking nobody. Yep. I will watch that game actually because I'm uh, I'm going to be making a bet on it. Do here. you have ACC in Network a few, up there? In a few minutes, I do. Oh. I do have the ACC Network. Wow! It's just ESPN. It's if you have ESPN, the ESPN package, you get it. Gotcha. I didn't think I had ACC so. Network. Thought you had to be living in a yeah, state with an no. ACC team. No, that's usually how it no. works. No. That's how the Pac-12 works, um, because like that's confusing as fuck to get the Pac-12 network. Um, I think the Big Ten I don't know network if ever works tried to like watch that as well. I don't think so. No. no. I don't. There's Big Ten networks not down here. Well, I mean, but like you can get it. But like it, on your cable um, subscription, like, like yeah, you can go on the internet and watch the ACC network and all that stuff. But well, yeah, well, I don't have cable. I just like pay for i just use a friend of mine's cable login and he lives in kentucky gotcha she likes kentucky apparently um appalachian state they are three and oh uh well anyways uh 
No, uh, K K Kentucky is uh, uh, not Big Ten country, so I feel like I, think we were talking I, I feel about... like maybe not accurate. But TV subscription, it's not what we're trying to talk about. Sorry. Duke, Duke, Kansas, the game of the century. Duke, Kansas. All right. That's uh, the bottom twenty-five game of the century. All right, so let's get into the tweets of the week. Dan is getting ready to share his screen with us. Oh, wow. Look at that. How about that for timing? That was really perfect timing. Um, okay, so our first one is uh, – this is funny. It's just hilarious. This is a funny play. Like, what? what is going on here, 26? <laughs> he um, just bails at the last second. I can't, every time I watch, because he looks like he goes up and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna." Nope, not doing it. He just runs away. Yeah. Nope, I'm gonna take Did this he, guy. Like, get scared? Or I, I, I just, just don't know. Like, and then he piles it to somebody else. So it's like I know he's not afraid to hit people. I don't know I'm what's so happening. I don't know what. I want to know what was going through his head at that last second. I, I, I would care about the bar stool has like tried to reach out to him. And oh, to, like, they had to. Uh, All right. I, I'd, I, I'd love to uh, find that follow up. All right. We'll do this one. Um, next. Then this, this, uh, I write that tweet. I mean, it's just fucking funny. It's Pretty not creative. Hilarious. So I'm going to give it like a five out of 10, but it's funny. So if I'm just writing it on fun, it's like eight out of 10. Yeah. So I thought I, I think I said um, did I send this one? I thought this was hilarious. You did send this one. Uh, you did send this one to me, um, and I think this is pretty spot on <laughs> to the way that they played so far this year. Uh, they are not convincing, uh, and uh, maybe maybe I just love. I think I just uh, love this meme format. I just it's just like it is a good meme format. I'm going to be bad team this year. I'm going to... To trick Michigan. And... To trick Michigan, right? <laughs> it's like, nope, we're just going to be bad. <laughs> nope, we're just going to be bad. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so I'll give this one... Uh, for creativity, I'm going to give it a six. All right. Uh, I think I think the ones, the other tweets... Uh, if you wanted to show that... that uh... Tulane helmet? The helmet. The Tulane helmet. Yeah. Um, because it they did do some trolling, which is not in the picture. Um, but I, I wonder how many. I'm gonna look this up. I uh, go ahead and talk about the helmet a little bit. I just love this helmet. I mean, I love I love throwback logos. Anything with the, like, uh, I saw uh, Coastal Carolina tweeted out that they're in their merch merchandise store for a limited time. They're selling throwback uh, Coastal Carolina uh, logo. Uh, merchandise and i seriously awesome. considered buying it because the logo looks so cool and i just love this little two lane logo he's got his little helmet he's just got his little flag and it also has a, a patch on the back of it with their three sec titles um when that Tulane was in the sec way back in the 1930s i believe it was yeah that's the part that i thought was kind of cool is that they have their sec championship they were uh, they wore them playing old miss this past weekend uh obviously an yeah, sec yeah, school that's, that's so. pretty neat i i just this yeah. it's not it really been a funny if old miss hadn't won it, it would have been funnier if Ole Miss hadn't won any SEC championships and Tulane had won two but hadn't been in the conference since, like, 1936. Yeah. That would have been funny. They uh, they, they still have the so SEC championship trophies, them. like, in their uh, – they bring them with them and, like, have, them, ha have yeah. them on the sidelines when they're playing Ole Miss. That would have been funny. SEC. <laughs> SEC. SEC. That would have been really – like, top-level trolling – but the situation doesn't make sense. So, no. all right. Um, what was the other one that we were gonna get? No, no, towards the bottom. Go yeah, to, this go way. Towards the bottom. The two, 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 two towards this the bottom. This one. This is this one of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So yep. this is uh, uh, this is the real Lane Kiffin's Instagram account. He is following one person, and it is Arch Manning, the son of Cooper Manning, nephew of Eli and Peyton. I just think that's hilarious fantastic it's lane kiffin we were saying right before we started lane kiffin is just i love him he's just one of the a best personality it's just one of the best characters in college football truthfully um was, one was of it, the best it was it um these yeah, two I think both of those honestly yeah. this one was pretty good this tweet is oh there it is okay 
You want to read through it, or can you not read that? It's it's a little all right, little foggy for me. So they quote tweet they quote tweeted their own tweet, and it says everything in this list sadly killed college football, just like people warned. 1893 helmets 1906 the forward pass 1950 athletic scholarships 1964 separate platoons separate platoons 1972 freshman eligibility 1984 tv rights 1998 the bcs 2014 the playoff 2018 sports betting 2021 it's nil and they quote tweeted it this tweet some of those things i would argue did ruin college football worse than the nil i i mean like four of those things made uh, but it didn't tv it, rights the bcs and the playoff in my opinion kind of made tv rights for it, sure all, we all can make an things. argument tv rights for sure made made it worse by far yeah but tv Not also to too political but this is pretty funny yeah and then this tweet has tv been rights is why it's, it's a popular sport but uh it, tv rights is why it's a popular sport but it's also like why there are so many inequities in yes. college football yeah so, uh, all right one last one last tw- tweet here one last one so after beating buffalo coastal carolina had a matador slam slam a bull through a table and stab it with a sword let's let's make this, a little, make this a little bigger yeah That's awesome. <laughs> yep. There's just truthfully. Oh, I missed the last part. They, no one. No one has more fun than this team. Coastal Carolina is just a place Nobody. you want to be. You want to be a part of that team. Like, I no, I want to be in that I locker. I run through room. a wall for them. Oh yeah. For real, dude. I love they made the Bills too. That, that looks I, like a blast. Yeah. That's great. All right. They, they did so there was some forethought to that too like they know they're gonna win and then they, they like have that shit like ready oh yeah like hey guys we got you we, Every- got, we got some fun happening here everybody's still got their pads on so this is like immediately after the game they just got it's all set yeah. up everything's ready yeah uh, that's 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 they, they got the that's guy they got the guy in the bowl bowl costume he's already ready he's in it like they paid him to get fucking body slammed like yeah. that's the best part is like they definitely gave him like, "Hey, here's twenty dollars. Would you care to get body slammed by somebody?" Oh yeah. Um, and then stabbed. Someone, maybe a coach or something. Yeah, like I don't know. That's awesome. Truthfully. Yeah. Um, that's really good. Shant- okay. Shanta clear football. They like to have fun. <laughs>